Hi, y'all. All right, before we start the video, I have a Discord. A dead Discord. I'm sorry, y'all. The milk aisle's been long for a long time. But that ends today because daddy's back with the milk. So if you got a Discord, join the Miller Mafia server. See, I pulled a Batman and made the server for three reasons. One, just in case something happens to me, I want to be able to let y'all know in an instant, whether it be events, live streams, project announcements, Thanos snaps. Yeah, you gotta be prepared for everything. Two, for y'all to have access to my presence at any given time. DMs, chatting, first time giveaways, big announcements, you know, the good stuff. And number three, to make this Discord server a place where we can all meet, help and interact with each other under any circumstances. And yes, I will ask you to subscribe to the second channel and join the Mellow Mafia server from here on out on every single upload until the server is packed and the second channel is either at uh, a million or, 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 or 100K or something. Subscribe to the second channel, by the way. This is what this whole ad's for. Yeah, this ain't gonna be the last time you get pressed to join the spot. The second channel, we finna go up. There's gonna be new mods alongside the old ones. I'm gonna do something for that to make sure that happens. Don't worry. And the server revamp is I progressively build it back up. Subscribe to the second channel. Enjoy the video. Mellow one million out. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm a huge gamer. Ah! Have been all my life. I don't take games as serious no more, like except for when I'm playing MMORPGs. But growing up, I played every game like my life depended on it. If I wasn't sneaking into the living room quietly to play the PlayStation 2 and beat the whole game while my parents were asleep, then you could catch me on the Game Boy putting in that work. If I wasn't playing Pokemon Fire Red, getting it out the mud, then you can catch me on the PSP trying to show the world what a real Keyblade Master looks like. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, I touched grass a lot, which gave me a good balance of playing outside on the block, but games were really where I thrived the most. I was one of them gamers that always challenged myself and was determined to be the best player I could possibly be. Not finishing what I started and losing was like my kryptonite, my nigga. So I took every game serious. And you know what taking a game serious comes with? Gamer rage, which was bad for me because I already had anger issues. Yeah, it was bad. I was flight before flight took flight. I was like a little baby hawk chihuahua gremlin. I got mad at every time I couldn't beat a level, every time I got my doonies beat down in a fighting game, every time the freaking game would freeze when I made it to the most crucial part of the game, anything I could think of. Ten broken controllers, me punching holes in walls, kicking the crap out of my dressers, fist fighting Unicron, making dents in my closet door, is what I contain myself from doing <laughs> to keep myself from getting a very much needed ass whooping from my parents. Except for kicking dressers and fighting Unicron. I did that. See, this is why every home need a good father figure, because even though my anger was in full effect, I knew I was raised and disciplined right, because the sound of that belt was the only thing that could bypass the sound of my HP dropping to zero. The sound of that leather smacking against itself was the only thing that could calm Broly the one down. Even them times where my anger reached 100%, like this one time my Mike Tyson and his prime bodybuilt ass dad assumed my emotions during a game I couldn't beat. He told myself, you ain't mad for real. Excuse me, sir. You try fighting Bowser on Super Mario 64 with no buffs, gods, or cheats. Like, how you gonna say I'm not angry as if you in my body? All those thoughts were in my head, and guess who didn't do a damn thing to my father? Now, most would think gamer rage always causes bad outcomes, which in most cases, it does. However, I beg to differ, because there was one day when I was seven where my gamer rage took my jersey, played all four quarters, threw a lob off the backboard, and dunked success in for me. I'm not kidding. What I'm about to tell y'all happened. I remember it was 2006. My mom had just got me, my brother, and my dad all Game Boy Advance micros for Christmas right alongside me and my brother's very first PlayStation 2 that had Sonic Heroes, Sonic Riders, and Sonic Mega Collection with it. And this was my first handheld console, so I'm ecstatic, my nigga. And the game she got me with it was Pokemon Fire Red and Sonic Advance 3, which I had been begging my parents for a while to get me. The PlayStation 2 was a surprise for me and my brother that we ain't even know we was getting because they acted like they were 
wasn't finna get it for us. But my parents showed out that year, no cap. So I put Fire Red on hold and got straight to all my Sonic games first, cause duh, I'm a huge Sonic fan and still am. So for the next three days, I bench played Sonic Advance 3, which I turned out to be really good at playing. I'm flying through the levels, even though each stage got progressively harder as time went on, as it should. And some levels did irritate me, but not to the point where I'm ready to go push somebody grandma off her wheelchair into speeding traffic. Come day three, I get to this level I just couldn't beat. I was stuck on this level for literal hours. Didn't eat, didn't sleep, didn't go outside, didn't watch TV, didn't even wave at the candy lady down the street. I did nothing until this level was beat. Hey, Devontae, mom said, run around and walk away. <laughs> Bruh, eight whole hours passed by, and no matter what I did, how much energy I put in, how focused I was, how determined I tried to be, I could not beat this damn level. So I reached a breaking point. I got so mad <laughs> that I threw the Game Boy at my closet door. Just chunked that hole with every bit of strength I had. And I didn't care if it broke, which it didn't, because it was sturdy like a track phone, but it did shut off. I walked out the room to go calm down and ain't looked back once. The only people that heard that loud boom was my little sister and my older brother, because my parents were outside. Again, what I'm about to tell y'all happened. A couple hours later, I walked back in the room, ready to take on that level again. And when I turned back on the game, the entire game was beat. Do you hear the words coming out of my mouth? The entire game was beat. All the characters were unlocked, all the levels were beat on rank A, all the bosses were beat, I had all the Chaos Emeralds, Super Sonic was unlocked, I had everything. First person I called was my brother. I showed him he couldn't believe it, and I couldn't either. I was sitting there erect at the fact that this happened, because I ain't never seen something like this happen in my life. Like, it was as if I glitched the console and it beat the game for me. Forget the Midas touch, nigga, I got that cold Lyoko touch. I'ma tell y'all right now, I never forgot this story because it happened to me only one time in my life and it never happened again. Trust me, I tried. Oh! Hey, listen. So many battles and stories to tell you. Yeah. How many times it came through for me? Hey, yo, Devontae, let me ask you a question. What up, homeboy? Choose one and one gotta go. Save a baby from falling off a cliff or collect the seven chaos simmer. Why you don't want to save the baby? I am saving it from growing up in the modern world. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't never pick peace. Why you always want problems? Problems? <laughs> I am the problem. Oh, oh, no. Nah. Chaos control! Ah, my back!